If we have the expression 6 divided by 2 over 4 times 2 to the power of 3, then what is the simplest possible solution for this expression? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This question may seem very very simple, but almost everyone gets tricked. Let's break it down and solve it together. And the first step of solving this question, most people go straight to the exponent, which is 2 cubed and simplify the whole expression to 6 divided by 2 over 4 multiplied by 8. And the next step, they usually focus on the expression 2 over 4 times 8, because they believe multiplication has priority over division. As you can see in the image, they very easily cancel out 8 with the 4 in the denominator and write this expression as 6 divided by 4, which ultimately gives them the answer 1.5. And without any hesitation, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question is option A. But this answer is absolutely wrong. Alright, now let me explain step by step how to solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we must follow the both mass rule. And this rule, B stands for bracket, O stands for order, D stands for division, M is sense for multiplication, A is sense for addition, and S is sense for subtraction. We should proceed these operations exactly as it's written from top to bottom step by step. Alright, as you can see on the screen, in this expression, we have a division sign, then a multiplication sign, and finally exponent. According to the both mass rule, we should start with the exponent, because in this question, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, instead of the original expression, we can write 6 divided by 2 over 4 multiplied by 8. And the next step, we handle the division and multiplication. However, it's very important to note that in the both mass rule, multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority. In this situation, the best thing to do is to start from the left side of the expression and move toward the right, performing these two operations in order. So, first we perform the division between 6 and 2 over 4. Okay, whenever we see a division sign between two terms, it's best to use the KCF rule. And this rule, K ascends or keep the first number as it is. C ascends or change the division sign to multiplication and F stands for flip the second fraction. So, we remove the highlighted part and replace it with 6 multiplied by 4 over 2. Alright, as you can see, the number 6 simplifies with the 2 in the denominator and this expression simplifies to 12 multiplied by 8, which finally gives us the answer 96. Therefore, option D is the correct answer to this question.